Levitation. See, now I'm levitating. <laughs> See. <coughs> How could it happen? Is it what you're asking or is it possible? Is it possible? <laughs> See? <laughs> is it possible? It is possible. How does it happen? There are, there are many ways or there are certain ways through which you can become less and less available to gravity. There are certain practices, certain kriyas through which you become less available to gravity. Because of this, one may levitate, it's possible. Or <clears throat> when your kundalini raises with tremendous force, one may not levitate but you can see one's body just taking off by itself and landing. It doesn't stay there, but it takes off and lands, takes off and lands. If you make a little effort, without any effort it's happening, but if you make a little effort, with little effort, when the energy is high, it happens. You must have heard of… <coughs> you heard of Mayama? Hmm? The lady saint in Tamil Nadu, Mayama, you heard of her? Nobody knew where she came from, but it looked like her features said that she must have been a Nepali. But uh, she never spoke. She was in Kanyakumari, the very tip of southern India. Her friends were always dogs. She had a whole band of dogs behind her. She was uh, so involved with these dogs that she would steal food from hotels. You know, in the small hotels they kept all these water and other things. <laughs> She'll just go grab it and put it for her dogs. So many times people even physically handled her. People would beat her, throw stones at her because she grabs food from everybody and gives it to the dogs. She never spoke. Then people found Certain times when people went and watched her, she would be just floating on the waves of the ocean. She would just sit like this and simply float. So because of that, people stopped bothering her, they, you know, they would protect their food of course, but they wouldn't abuse her physically in any way because they saw her floating on the ocean. There are many ways you can make yourself less available to gravity. Can I do it? I want to walk on the planet. <laughs> I have no intention of floating. <clears throat> Certain people who follow the path of Hatha Yoga usually do these feats. It is of no life significance. Now, if you float or if you levitate for a few minutes in a day, in what way does it alter your life? Our whole effort here is that you can walk through life very much on the ground, but you can walk through life no matter what happens with your life, no matter what kind of situations you face. You go through life untouched, still like a child as you were born. How many things happen in your life? It doesn't matter. How many things go wrong? Everything goes dead wrong. Every day is a crisis, but still you go untouched through life. This is a miracle. I want all of you to perform this miracle. On your deathbed, if you are like just born, that means you have performed a wonderful miracle of going through life untouched. That's possible. So, we are interested in performing that miracle. Floating in the air, walking upon the water, 
what will you do with it? Three days if you walk upon the water, it'll be fine when you get all the attention. Every day if you start walking upon the water, nobody will look at you. They'll all take their speed boats and psh, they'll go. Then you will also wish you had a boat, <laughs> isn't it?